It's Children's Dental Health Month, and Coastal Kids Dental is the place to take your little ones. They make going to the dentist actually fun. Dr. Isabel joining us with some important information. Good morning. Good, Good morning. to see you. Thanks five locations me. now. My goodness, you are just all over the place. What are those five locations? Um, our original location is Hanahan. Um, we also have Monk's Corner, mm -hmm. Dorchester Road, Walterboro, mm -hmm. West Ashley. Mm -hmm. And Aaron was just talking with you a few moments yeah. ago. Their kids <laughs> love coming to you. Uh, and, and kids do because uh, dental practice or dental treatments have changed so much mm -hmm. over the years. And it's virtually painless. It's a lot of fun. Yep. And with the doctor like yourself, you make it even more fun, right? <laughs> yes. Well, we, you know, so many people are afraid of the dentist. So we try to make those fears go away. We try to let them understand that there's nothing that's going to hurt them. Mm -hmm. We have lots of distractions. Mm -hmm. um, we talk to them, we show them stuff, um, and we just try to make it a, just a relaxing experience. Mm -hmm. I think the relaxing and the, the distractions mm -hmm. are always the, great, yes. the greatest thing. Yes, distractions always help. Yeah. Okay, so uh, somebody's had a child and it's three or four years old. When should they first bring their child in to see you guys? Well, it's actually age one. so okay. um, they're a little late then, They are they? a little late. <laughs> okay. um, and the uh -huh. reason is um, that first visit, we typically just introduce the parent sure. and the child to the office. We go over oral health and nutrition. Um, we mm -hmm. we want to make sure that that first visit isn't a visit where they've already got cavities. Um, sure. We want to prevent that. Yeah. So we go over prevention techniques. Mm -hmm. And you will try to stay away from a lot of those sweet drinks that would uh, have a tendency to, right. to produce yeah. those cavities a lot. Drinks of um, are, yeah. are almost worse than candy, really. Mm -hmm. um, but just anything with sugar and yeah. acid. Um, yeah. You can have uh, sugar-free sodas. They still have acid, so you have sure. to be careful with that. And even the flavored waters, they have a lot of acid. So um, mm -hmm. the key is moderation. Mm -hmm. I, I usually tell my parents, you, you can't not do anything bad. So just to try to do it in sure. moderation and then remembering the... Um, um, brushing and the flossing. Mm -hmm. And one of the best things is when, when a parent brings a child in, hopefully at one year old, yeah. not at three or four, uh, that, that you can say, these are some of the things that the child can drink. This is what's actually good, not only mm -hmm. for their, their teeth, their gum, but health-wise as well. Yeah, um, you know, things that are good for your health, like juices and stuff, mm -hmm. may not be good for your teeth. So again, I just, I just reiterate the moderation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, have a cup with dinner, have a cup maybe at lunch, but mm -hmm. not something that you're sipping on all day because frequency sure. is what causes cavity. So mm -hmm. it's one big uh, cup is better than lots of several sips mm -hmm. um, because it's just the frequency lowers the pH in the mouth and that's what can cause the cavity. Sure. So. Tell us about ba uh, baby teeth. They're very important. Right? They are. Mm -hmm. um, you need them to eat, obviously. Mm -hmm. You need them to speak, um, but you also need them for growth and development. So if you lose mm -hmm. one too soon, then s the spacing is, sure. is a problem and um, later orthodontics become more difficult. So mm -hmm. it's very important to keep them healthy. Yeah. It's, it's all, it's 32 teeth, is that right? For permanent, yeah. yeah. Yes, but normal. baby teeth, you have 20. 20, okay. Uh -huh, yeah. uh, the difference between a pediatrist and a general dentist? Um, pediatric dentists go to school an additional two to three years after dental oh, wow. school. So we do a, what's called a residency, and uh -huh. um, there we just focus on all you know children's health uh, issues. Mm -hmm. We focus on growth and development. Mm -hmm. um, patients with special needs, adults with special needs, we talk about that a lot. Um, yeah. So it, it is a little bit of additional training. Uh, not only the additional training, but there, there's psychology involved as well. Oh because, yeah, behavior uh, management yeah, is behavior all management like that, yes. going on. So, so an additional mm -hmm. two years of training. Mm -hmm. wow. Some, yeah, some are three. Some uh -huh. programs are three. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot that can be different. It's not just you know mm -hmm. uh, baby teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to t look at the person that the baby teeth are in. I've always said, be true to your teeth, so they won't be false to you. So yeah. when does a when does a child? <laughs> it's a good one. Get, you like that? <laughs> I've got more if you like. Uh, when should a child start brushing? As soon as they get a tooth. So it yeah. should be the parent, really, because yeah. obviously a one-year-old is not going to know to brush their own teeth. So I, I still brush my kids' mm -hmm. teeth, and my oldest is eight, and mm -hmm. I probably will until they're yeah. teenagers um, because they just they don't know how to get back and do it properly. Mm -hmm. So um, a, a good thing for, for toddlers is let them do it maybe themselves mm -hmm. at first or in the morning, but then in the mm -hmm. evening um, or after they've done it, you need to go back yeah. and check. And a lot of times the kids just take the brush, stick it in there, get yeah, some they suds going, get it and, wet and, and, and they say, it's, it's all done. And yeah. that's not, it's not even close. That's not it, yeah. Dr. Isabel, thank yeah. you so no, much. Thanks once for again. having me. What are your five locations once again? Um, Walterboro, Monk's mm -hmm. Corner, West Ashley, uh, Dorchester Road, and then Hanahan. Mm -hmm. Always a pleasure having you. Thank here. you. All right, stay with us. Up next, uh, Urban Nirvana is giving away a